The registration process for bidding is simple. However, you will need to register separately for each auction. We will ask you for your contact and payment details along with some security information. You will be prompted to choose a bidder ID and this will appear on the auction website whenever you place a bid. Be sure to choose an ID that does not directly identify you as the bidder. Once we approve your registration, you are ready to bid. Viewing the sales and placing a bid on the new website is simple and intuitive. For each lot, you are able to view photos and request a condition report. You may also ask specific information and view any additional documents or certificates that may accompany the lot. When you're ready, there are two options available to you. You can either place the next bid as indicated, or you may place a proxy bid, which is the maximum amount you are willing to offer on this lot. A proxy bid is confidential and does not require you to revisit the site in order to increase your offer. You will be sent a confirmation email that your bid has been placed and if you are outbid you will receive a timely email notification. At this point you can increase your offer if you so wish. Within the bidding history on the lot you will be able to see your bidder ID along with the time and amount of your bid. Below this there is a notification indicating whether or not the reserve has been met. Within our sale page, there is the Items I'm Bidding On section, which allows you to review your current bids. Lots that are due to end soon will be highlighted in the Going Going Gone section. Auction ending times are staggered, so you'll never lose out at the last moment. If a bid is placed within 10 minutes of the auction ending, bidding time will extend for another 15 minutes. If you are the successful bidder, after the sale we will send you an email to congratulate you and inform you of the next steps of payment and collection. Should you have any questions at any point, we are available to help you by phone or email.